Well, here it is, your first video of 2013, and I thought I'd start with a topic that's been giving you a little bit of problem. That is, if we are given the first derivative, and you are asked to look at the first derivative and interpret the facts there so that you can give more information about the original function. Okay, so we are going to want to know when the original function f is increasing and decreasing. So let's start with that. So I first look at this function and start taking it apart. Well, here I notice that the first derivative is positive. So that means um, that my original graph is increasing. And here I notice that the first derivative is negative. That means the slope is negative, so that the original function is decreasing. And here we have the first derivative positive, so that means the original function is increasing. And here we have the first derivative is negative. That means the slope is negative, so the original function is decreasing. So we can say that f of x is increasing on the interval from negative infinity to, oh, wait, wait, yes, increasing to negative 2, and then on the interval from 0 to 2, because that is when the first derivative is positive, or when the slope is positive. And then f of x is decreasing on the interval from negative 2 to 0, and then from 2 to infinity. Great. Now let's answer the last part. As to make the x-coordinates of all local extreme values. Well, we know that a maximum will occur when the first derivative changes, right? A maximum looks like this. So it occurs when the slope changes from a positive to a negative. So any point here, am I changing from a positive to a negative? Well, you'll notice right here, it's going from positive to negative. So that will be a max. Okay? And then here we notice, we're changing from a negative to a positive, so that will be a minimum, because it's going from a negative slope to a positive slope. And here, we're changing from a positive to a negative, so that will be a maximum. So therefore, we have maximums when the x-coordinate is equal to negative 2 and 2. And then we have a minimum when the x-coordinate is at 0. There you go. We have answered all of the questions.